Hey everybody, it's Tony George. It's Thursday. That means it's basically Christmas morning as we release a more college and pro football premium plays at 5 Central today that are going to be all of our picks all the way through Monday. Over at DocSports.com, be sure and hit that $60 free link in the description below or on the website in the upper left-hand corner. And you can get a free $60. Put it towards the weekend package this weekend. We're going to make you some money. That's why we're here. You like the freebies. The freebies are kicking butt. I know that. But the good ones are going to be over here. And we're going to have a good week off a down week. Also, be sure and tune in to the Doc Sports Gridiron Six Pack with myself and Griffin Murphy. Uh, two shows. Free play record. 9-3-1 and one against the spread. Yeah, give out an extra lean one one day in there, so there have been 13 picks. Hello. Hello. So it pays to tune in. Support us. Smash the subscribe button. Be sure and get notified when myself and any other handicappers put up picks here um, for free. And you can know when they're up. You know, thumbs up, all that good stuff. All right. Uh Speaking of Christmas, I'm not putting out any premium plays tonight, but I'll give you a lean in the college football game tonight, and I'll tell you what I think about different ways to bet this NFL game tonight. Then I'll tell you what's going on with the website uh, with our packages this weekend. And trust me when I tell you, we're going to have a kick-butt weekend. Okay? Tonight, Coastal Carolina taking on Georgia State. Georgia State's got a good defense. We're three and zero. Oh. Better defense getting almost a touchdown. Carolina still got McCall quarterback. That guy's been a quarterback since I was a junior at University of Nebraska. How many years of eligibility does this guy have? A decade. But nonetheless, primetime dogs on Thursday and Friday are are barking. They're barking on this college side of things. You know. Last week, everybody laid up with Memphis. You know, Army beat them straight up. I'm telling you, the Georgia State's got a pretty good football team. This ought to be one heck of a ball game. I take the points, lean points, lean, lean. This is a lean. I take the underdog in the Georgia State and Coastal Carolina game tonight. Really what? You know, I'm not sold on um, them playing UCLA in their opener on the road kind of tight. Uh, UCLA lost two draft picks on offense last year that were kind of important. Quarterback and running back. Okay? Two huge studs. First game jitters. New players in there. Hey, they didn't look all that sharp. They've looked sharp since then. Just saying. So... Don't put a lot of weight on that final there. But at the end of the day here, I'd lean taking the points. Small lean. Pizza money at best in the college game tonight. In the NFL game, anybody that has followed me on any of these videos, as I've been at Docs for almost seven years, uh, anybody that uh, has followed me for 32 years, uh, it is very, very rare that I lay double digits in the NFL. It's just almost death to smoochy. If it was ever warranted, you know, you take a look at this game tonight. I'm going to tell you a different. First of all, the best way to bet this game is prop bets. I've got a two-play prop bet card at Docs. A three-unit and two-unit play, which is a five-unit card and props. <coughs> I fully intend on going 2-0. and oh, I bet them personally. But that being said, San Francisco should wipe the floor with New York. Now, New York played Arizona last week. They didn't go back home. They stayed out They stayed out on the West Coast. They've been out there since last, what, Friday? Or what, out here since last Friday. Um, but what you have here uh, is uh, what you call a classic mismatch. Now... You always worry in a 10-point-plus spread in the NFL about a backdoor cover. Um, last week, Giants were way down and came back and beat 
the Arizona Cardinals, which are the worst rated power team in the NFL. Okay? With little or no quarterback play. Jones is a good quarterback. I don't care what you think of him. He's a good quarterback. All he does is win games. I mean, he was doing it at Duke. I mean, he wins games. He's a better quarterback than people give him credit for. But New York is beat up, including Barkley being out of running back, which is huge for them. Also, when they played a good team and got down early in week one, Dallas, there was no backdoor cover. There wasn't a single point scored in that game. 40 to nothing. Home defeat. New York has the second worst rated offensive line unit rating in the NFL, according to my numbers and many others. By the way, the San Francisco 49ers, the best defensive rating line rating in the NFL. That is a total mismatch. It's going to be very difficult for New York to score. Therefore, there's going to be three and outs. Three and out, three and out, three and out, three and out. And that San Francisco defense is going to get tired. And we all know that San Francisco has playmakers all over the place. I think they have a above average quarterback right now. I may have misjudged him a little bit. But Purdy is a good game manager. He doesn't give the ball up very easily. Shanahan's good coach. San Francisco's one of the top five teams in the NFL. New York Giants aren't. I think last year was an anomaly. And this is just a really tough spot for them. Now, crazy things happen on Thursdays, but if you're going to play a side in this game, you got to lay the 10 and a half. You could easily see 35 to 10 here. And if San Francisco brings their A game, even on a short week, they're easily two touchdowns better than the New York Giants, which makes sense to lay the 10 and a half. Same game teaser makes a lot of sense. Take this total, tease it up to 49 and a half, and take the under. And T San Francisco down to minus four and a half. I don't see a nail biter here, you know, but it doesn't. And again, bear in mind, these are free plays. These aren't ones we're unloading on. You're not putting all these in a five teamer, and you know, there. If I thought they were worth a big push, I put them up for sale because I could sell them. I could make some money, you know. What this game is for me is a $100 bet because I bet basically $100 in every free play I give you guys. Why not? We're hitting 60% of them over a seven years, almost a seven year span. We've talked about this numerous times. That's the way I'd look at it tonight. Now, we're going to have a college football pick on Friday. We're going to have a three or a four pack on Saturday with a six-unit top play. In the NFL, we're also going to have a six- or seven-unit play. We had a two- and three-week last week in the NFL, and I am pissed off. Well, there's some opportunity this weekend in the NFL, the top pick on at least a four-pack, including a teaser, and we also will have one of the Monday night games for you. Over at DocSports.com, up at 5 Central. Be sure and check out the Gridiron Six Pack. Be sure and go get that free $60. And be sure and tune back in tomorrow. We'll have more free plays for you right here on DocSports' YouTube channel.